We begin with what was a dramatic day at the National Assembly over the planned confirmation vote on the Prime Minister nominee Iwangu. After some vocal confrontations, the rival parties agreed to push the vote back until next Monday. Our Park Ji Won starts us off. The country's two main rival parties have agreed to postpone a vote on the confirmation of Prime Minister nominee Yuan Gu. After a contentious afternoon, they led them to call off the session until next Monday. Earlier in the day, lawmakers from the main opposition party boycotted parliamentary activities. They were protesting the confirmation of the nominee in committee this Thursday afternoon, with only lawmakers from the ruling Henry Party unilaterally voting to move the vote onto the full assembly. Earlier in the morning, the ruling Senate Party had urged the opposition party to cooperate and allow the vote to proceed as scheduled in order to avoid a vacuum in state affairs. Even long before I was elected floor leader, when the nominee was still the floor leader of the party, both parties had agreed that the full assembly would vote on the nominee following the two-day confirmation hearing. However, the main opposition party said it hoped to delay the vote to sometime later this month, given the various allegations surrounding the nominee's past. Since I have worked with the nominee who was my previous counterpart on many issues at the assembly, I really wanted him to come through the confirmation hearing well. Unfortunately and very regrettably, he has fallen short of people's expectations. The ruling Henry Party holds a majority in the assembly, and if we wanted to, it could go ahead with the vote on its own. However, experts say it's not likely, as the presidential office has already been criticized for its lack of compromise and communication, especially with personnel matters. The burden of pushing through the confirmation might be too heavy for the administration and potentially cripple future assembly sessions. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.